Okay, now we're going to put this together. Uh, I like to do the zipper first because it takes a different foot than the uh, welt foot, which I use stitching everything else back together. So we're going to make a zipper, which uh, I sh have shown on another video if you're interested. And I'm using the welt cord that I have already made. It doesn't match, but it's just scrap and this cushion isn't going to be used on that chair. It's just for the purposes of this video. You would normally use everything the same fabric, which is pretty obvious. Okay, here we go. We're going to do the zipper, fold over the edge about a half an inch, and get it started. Put it right up to the teeth. Lock it in. This zipper comes on a roll, like 250 feet or something like that. So you can buy a pre-cut one from the store and use that. Those are fine. So we're going to cut it off right there. And we're going to reverse it around. And remember, we are marking the top. And on this one, the top is already against the zipper. So we're not putting the top against the zipper this time. We're going to put the bottom against it. We'll fold our half. Go up to the teeth. Lock it and go. Okay, now you don't want to forget oops, to put the glide on there, because once you got it all together, you can't get it in. So you split it a little bit, start it on there, start it on the other side, give it a little push in there on there. Now this is telling you which way it's going to end up. You go this way, you're, you're zipping the zipper all the way up. I like to do that last. So when I'm attaching the box, I'm going to attach it to this end because the other end is when it zips closed, I want to create a little pocket to hide it. So we have the top here. This is the top. So we want to make sure the box is going in the same direction. And one thing you could do with the zipper, sometimes they, they come out thicker than you want. And you know, if you compare it and you say, oh my goodness, it's too wide, just bring it over to the cutting table and, and you know, lop it off a little bit before you, you, know, you get too, too started in there. Okay, we're zipping it that way. Want the box to go on this way. And we got the tops lining up. And I'm just securing this with the zipper foot which I will change to do the rest of it. But that way there, I don't have to think it's all done. Everything's good to go pretty much. All right, now I've got to put on the welting foot. There, now we're ready for the welt cord. And when you start your cording, you start it on the back of your cushion because you're going to have the seam there. So we have our back and we have our cording and you're going to start it roughly in the middle in the back and I'll show you how to end it off later. And you just line it edge to edge. And that's why I, this is roughly a half an inch. That's why I added an inch to the panel. So I'm losing it here and I'll lose it there and we'll come down eventually to the right finished measurement. 
Now when you get to the corner you can put a couple of cuts in the this cording so it you know releases the tension and it's a lot easier making your turn. You get up there you leave the needle in to hold it and then you can just go right around that and it holds it in place and you can hand you know move your machine hand wise if you want or you can just foot it around there. Same idea, stopping roughly, you know, the width of the, of the cording short of the corner. Make your cuts, make your turn. Okay, now we're getting to the end here, and there's a couple of ways you can finish it off. I cut it about an inch, inch and a half longer, and what I'm going to do is just fold it over. You don't want a raw edge seen with fabric. If you were doing vinyl or leather, you have a raw edge. So you can do it this way. I just match the cording up to the end of the other one and cut it off. And I'm just going to fold this over so that there's no raw edge. I'm going to match it up, make sure it fits in there. And then I'll stitch that closed. There's another way of doing it. You could release this one like this, get them to the exact length you need, and then stitch it. And it, it's tricky, it takes time, and a lot of times you have to redo it to make it the right length. This way, you're right every time. So I like this way. And, you know, it's it's fine. It's certainly what 90% of the cushions are done like. So that's that. You get your joint in the back, you made your corners, and we're just going to do this all over again with another one. All right, let's see. We're going to find our the back. Fortunately, I marked it. Makes it much easier. Got my mark. Got my center mark. Look at that. Just enough to make it. See that? Yeah. Trash that. We're good to go. Celebrate that we made it because we we're cutting it close. Same thing, release it a little bit, cut the cording off to match the end of the other one. Fold it back a little bit, no raw edge. Cover it up. And there you go. Okay, so now I'm going to put the box on. So we got our center there, and we'll mark a little center on this as well, the same technique. Just fold it in half, take a little snip out and a little snip out, 
And at this point, it doesn't matter what the upside is on it, or uh, it's, you know, the first time, your first panel you put on doesn't normally matter. So we line that up with that mark on the bottom. And then I start like two thirds of the way down. Following the same line, the outer line, bringing it up to the corner. Sometimes I give it a little nip to release some of the tension there. Feeling it with my finger where the end of that cording is. And I make my turn. And I go with the fold. I want the fold to be going the same direction when I do the other side as well. Okay, we're getting close here. We've got to figure out how we're going to end this off. So I'm going to stop there and I'm going to connect the box and make the corner and then we'll cut it off to the exact length we need. Make sure I overlap. Same idea, you get to the end of the cording, you pull it right around. And then I'm going to stop there. Whoa, jeez, it's a dangerous job. Okay, so we want to keep the zipper, but we want to have a little pocket. So you basically, your seam is going to use up an inch. So we're going to leave not only an inch, we're going to leave a couple of inches because we want a little pocket there. I fold the box back, gives me a straight line. I follow it with my scissors. I don't have to measure or any, use a square or do it freehand. It gives you a good, good straight cut. Now we got to put it together. Okay, and we're going to fold that in. That gives us our little pocket. Make sure everything's lined up. And this is nice and snug so you don't bunch up on the other side. All right. Box is on. So we're fairly well on our way. Now we've got to take the top, the other side, the other face, and put it on. And how do you line that up? You know, you want to make sure that all of the corners match. You're centered in the back. And what I do, I'll fold it at the corner. Make the line straight here and work it up and make it straight there and then I'll cut that little piece out of there and that should give me my corner. I'll do that four times. There's other ways of doing it. People fold them down and up but I kind of like this one. Okay, so we've got all those corners marked. Put the back to the back. And we're gonna take that little cutout and we're gonna match it with the corner. And I like to pin it. Some people don't pin it, but I like pinning it. 
same idea. Match that little nip out with the corner. Takes a little more time to pin it up, but I find that it comes out better. And there's the center pieces and they, they line up pretty good. I might just put a, another pin in there. How about this side? Yeah, that's lining up good too. Might be overkill, but I like it. Makes it easier to sew. Yep, that lines up pretty good too. And this side, of course, we've got our pocket on there, so there's some flexibility, but you still want it to be as accurate as possible. Okay, when I start stitching, I like to do the front first. Get the two front corners good, and you're good to go. If you're off a hair on the back, it's not so bad. So get that all lined up. Kind of wrestle the corners, you know, you're making all the edges line up and So you can see that this length and the, the length of the box are pretty close to being the same, so that's good. Sometimes, for whatever reason, they aren't. And you recheck your corners to make sure you got them correctly. up to our pocket. You're going to make sure that's folded good. Everything lines up good. And around to the zip. Yeah, we know we're doing pretty good. We got all our notches lining up here. Some fabric stretches and pulls and you get to the end and you got more box than you need or more face than you need. doing. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Coming down the home stretch. And that should do it. And they look pretty good. Yeah, everything's lining up good. I wish this was uh, the fabric I was using for the chair, but it didn't come in yet, so this is just practice. So you split the zipper and then you unzip it and you turn it right side out. Check your corners, make sure you got up there nice and tight with the, the stitching. Looks good. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, looks good. Everything looks good. So we've got a nice little cushion here. And you can see how the, that lines up nice. Your, co your corners are good. Then you got a nice zipper. You zip it right up. And you lose the zipper right into that little pocket there. And that keeps it from grinding against any other, like, if it was a stuffed chair, it would go against the arms. And hey, sometimes you got to give it a haircut when you're done. And, but it's usually easier when you put the foam in there, and that'll look good.
Jeez, that came out great. Like I said, I wished I had the real fabric for the chair. I'd be done. Now, well, now I know how to do it anyway. Well, thanks for watching. Um, hope you liked it. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. We can uh, really use more subscribers. Tell your friends and family. And uh, if you have any ideas of something you want to see, just let me know. Um, there's all kinds of videos, like I said, about zippers and welt cord and double welt cord. And check them out. So have a great day and enjoy your beer. <laughs>